In some mysterious way, the illusions of the drug state seem to fashion their waking lives. It is a debate that goes back decades. Is cannabis an essentially harmless recreational substance, certainly no more dangerous than alcohol or tobacco? Or is it a gateway drug that can have long-term damaging effects, particularly on the young? The answer, at least for lawmakers in Malta, seems to be the former rather than the latter. They have voted to legalise the drug, allowing adults to carry up to seven grams and grow up to four plants at home. We have put an end to the criminalization of people who are not criminals. Secondly, we are going to give uh, to curb uh, drug trafficking, cannabis trafficking, by making sure that people who make use of cannabis now have a safe and regularized way from where they can obtain cannabis. Several countries have already legalized cannabis, Canada among them. It allowed recreational use in 2018. And then there are nations that effectively turn a blind eye. The Netherlands is famous for its coffee shops, where the drug can be openly sold. But Malta will be the first country in Europe to legalise cannabis, at least in small amounts. I think it's a great idea, because it helps people <laughs> with pain and depression. I personally do not agree with it, for the simple reason that I think it would make um, us lazier as a society um, but I do not agree that anyone that is using for personal use should be jailed. The main opposition party opposed the plan warning it would normalize and increase drug abuse but where Malta leads others may follow. Luxembourg and Germany are also promising changes in the law. Tim Ullman, BBC News.